That's our big story at six. New information tonight on the fire that devastated St. Lawrence Seminary in Fond du Lac County. The March 8th blaze destroyed a historic portion of the high school, which housed the music department. Tonight, there are new questions on how it started and a new twist in the case. Paul Evenson was in Fond du Lac today. He joins us live at six with more. Paul? DeAndra, just days after that fire, investigators realized money that should have been in one of the damaged buildings was missing. Today, a St. Lawrence Seminary student is in custody, charged with the alleged theft of school funds. Missing money, a suspicious fire, and a St. Lawrence Seminary freshman in custody. This, in fact, appears to be a suspicious fire. So far, police are saying the two are unrelated. While it might seem to some people that, you know, yeah, it's obvious they are, well, they're not. I mean, A and B don't necessarily add up to C. Police say just one week after the fire, a 15-year-old student was found with cash that matched money apparently missing from one of the damaged buildings. Aerial footage of the site taken today shows the extent of the cleanup. So while the demolition of St. Joseph Hall continues, Fond du Lac police continued their search for a possible cause. Police have arrested the team for theft, but say the investigation into the fire will continue on for several more weeks. Well, there's a lot of work that has to, has to take place here, and this could be weeks, it could be months. Until then, returning students will have to adjust to the loss as the school looks to rebuild. Now, investigators hope to be able to put more of the pieces together after students return from spring break next week and more interviews are conducted. Paul Evenson, NBC 26.